Hello everyone and welcome to Dot Any Lanes After Hour Chat. I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. So you've been moving stuff all day? Yeah. Had more than I thought. Yeah. But a lot of it I told Danny take to the trash. Yeah, I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to, I got to burn a bunch of papers. Hey, Ruby. How are you? 91 and 66. Route, we're on Route 66, if that's what you're asking. Hello, Rudy. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, Mama Red. How are you this evening? She said she might fall out, but she'll be listening. <laughs> <laughs> so she might be taking care of stuff. But, yeah, there's, yeah. There's, huh? I'm in a, I saw Elaine's live today driving. Yeah, we were on um, Highway 66. You're right. Yeah, I got to, I got to fix my camera a little higher. It was more um, focused on the hood than it was on the, you know, the scenery. So. Party like it's night. Team like it's 99 and 74. Heck yeah. <laughs> 66 uh, makes you say 91. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to run and get my medicine or take my medicine really quick. Okay. So, how are you doing today, Rudy? Sign on at nine oh seven. Huh? Oh, you're signed on at nine oh seven because it's seven eleven here. Okay. Oh. So anyway, I got my candle ready, my uh, calming waves. That's I'm gonna light my candle for Siegfried because he, oh, he's yeah. gonna be getting his surgery this morning in about. Yeah. Um, I would say probably three more hours, maybe two more hours. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna light my candle uh, for Siegfried, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna light it for Robin. She's having a hysterectomy tomorrow. And, Robin uh, who? Robin, DIY. Oh, Robin. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, she's having surgery tomorrow morning. And Siegfried's having his probably in the next couple hours because they're yeah. the of us. He said he was having well, his today. Yeah. Sunday There's, here is Monday there. Yeah, I know. But it's not, it's like right now, it's like uh, five o'clock in the morning over there where he's at. But right. it's the next day. It's already Monday. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was going to light my candle for Siegfried. Um, but I think I forgot my lighter. Brazzy sees dogs on TV. Sign on at 9.07 p.m. Yeah, that was Rudy's sign on. Yeah. Okay. All right. My candle is lit for Siegfried. Okay. So we'll keep that lit. Because he should be getting his surgery like probably in the next hour or so. Is what I'm guessing. Because mm -hmm. the other night we were on, he was he was on, but it was like 3.20 in the morning, and that was earlier than... Right. So I'm thinking it's like 5 in the morning there. So he could be going to the hospital now to get his surgery. So, 
Yeah. But yeah, and then Robin's getting surgery tomorrow morning, so I'm going to light a candle for her too. Um, they'll go through surgery just fine. Yep. Yeah. Well, but, now I'll add Robin to my prayers. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If I had her address, I would send her a get well card, but I don't have her address. So I don't know how I would be able to send her something unless, uh, you know, I could send it to Neil. He could send it to her or something, you know, I don't know. But can't send an email. <laughs> no. So I did leave her a little message on her on her site go check it out neil posted a really nice thing um you know to leave leave a little message for robin so i already did i did that earlier well actually right after he posted it, it was like on there for i think i seen eight minutes it was on there so and so i left her a message and but so, yeah, I know we just packed all the boxes under the patio out here because I didn't want them in the house, you know. Yeah, I didn't either. So, um, most of ours are papers, you know, from Danny and some are from Ray's, box of Ray's stuff. And so we're going to go through all that and probably burn most of the stuff. Well, I got a trash bag, you know, those green trash bags. Yeah. And one of them has a bunch of clothes in it, and I think they were Danny's. I'm not sure. There's a I didn't have a bag of clothes out there, I don't believe. There's a nice red jacket that says Ford on the arm and Cobra. Yeah, well, he didn't drive a Ford or a Cobra. I just, and then there was a couple of pullover sweatshirts that said Santa Fe. And they're small, so I figured they might have been Danny's. Uh -huh. I don't know. I, I I don't know. But I got I you. I have a bag of clothes out there. Okay, I'll just have Danny throw them then. Yeah. Um, but I put uh, those crochet magazines uh -huh. in a tote. Okay. And I put, you gave my, remember that? Thing you made for mom with little Ryan's pictures in it, the little squares that mm -hmm. she had hung up. I put that in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, once I go through all these, bikes, but like I said, I looked in them and most of them are just paperwork and all that kind of stuff that just needs to go to the trash, you know. Yeah, I, my... Uh, I got quite a bit of James Dean stuff. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to clutter my house. So I'm going to put the salt and pepper shakers with my other ones. Mm -hmm. And then that top uh, shelf on the other side, you know, when you walk in, that shelf that's right there. I'm going to put the cookie jar all the way at the top. Mm, do you think that's a good idea? Is it sturdy? It's heavy. It's glass. Or oh, I know. Do you think the shelf is sturdy? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I got um, stuff on the other shelves. Oh, okay. And it's fine. I mean, it's that one way... Less that way it's up and out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. well, good. a lot of that stuff's going in the shed because I just don't want clutter. Don't yeah. Want clutter. Yeah. I hear you. Huh? I said, I hear you. See, then, back east where uh, Florida Mama Bear and Billy Bob and John. See, John probably is asleep because he has to work. But, um, you know, it's all, let's see, it's 7. It's 11 o'clock back there. 
Yeah. So, yeah, I just didn't want yeah. to go on too late, but yeah, you know, I wanted to light Siegfried's I'm candle. Sorry. I just wanted to get that a lot of it off my deck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I think tomorrow Danny's going to put the ones, put those totes in the shed for me. Oh, okay. There's only like three of them that have stuff in them. Yeah. And it's, we put all my James Dean stuff together and got them and two of them. <laughs> two of them? Okay. Yeah. Go back here. And then, I don't know if you ever seen that <coughs> picture of James Dean that, you know, kind of goes like. Hello, uh, Billy Bob. Ever. Hello, Billy Bob. How are you? Um, <laughs> got, it's got popcorn in it. You oh, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, it's a picture. Uh-huh. So I told Danny, I said, see? Popcorn lasts a long time. <laughs> it was, what? And I go, the popcorn in here, it was put in here in the 60s. <laughs> oh, God, Dorothy. And it's still there. <laughs> and he said, oh. Hello, okay. Carmen. How are Hi. you, my dear? Glad you come in. We're doing good. How about you girls? Oh, we're doing good. I wanted to go live. Um, and I lit the candle for Siegfried for his surgery. Yeah. I promised him that I would. And he's probably getting ready to have surgery. Probably within the next couple of hours. And then. Um, and then. I'll light it again tomorrow morning. Hey. I have my Depends ready, Florida Mama Bear says. <laughs> Hi, Mama Bear. How are you? Northwood, hello. How are you, hon? Northwood, welcome. Great to see you. I have mine ready, too, Mama Bear. <laughs> Robin is having, yeah, I'm going to light my candle tomorrow for Robin, uh, tomorrow morning. I'll light my candle again. She's having morning. her surgery. What time is her surgery? Um, I think she goes in at five. She said it was like seven, seven something in the morning. And I don't know how far ahead they are than us. That's why I mentioned it. But I will light it as soon as I get up in the morning. Yeah. Because they're either two hours ahead or three hours ahead. I, I don't know if she's way back east or in the middle or what. So. Yeah. Yeah, a little. So, yeah, as soon as I get up in the morning, I'll light it. And, um, hell, I may even go live in my pajamas. It'll be a light a candle pajama party at whenever I get up while I'm having my coffee. I used one Depends this afternoon in Elaine's vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I think John needed one. <laughs> That was fun, but I, I had to figure out how to use the phone with that stream yard. I'm telling you, I couldn't see chat. I had to use my other phone just to read the chat and it was so far behind than, than the stream yard. You know, it was like, I'm telling them to look at, cause I rewatched it and it looked like the camera was more focused on my hood cause I don't know how to zoom. Then it was, you know, the area just yeah. kind of had a little blur to, to me. It was. Yeah. It. All that you could see was your hood. So I'm going to play with it and see if I could. Um, my jaw and really stunk up the vehicle. <laughs> had to ride on the roof. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Poor mama bear. Start sharing some links here. But yeah, that um, it was funny. It was they, them talking and stuff was cracking me up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they were cracking me up, man. I watched a little bit of it, but then I 
want to get that done. Uh, so, but that, I can watch the replay. Yeah, that's what I did. I watched the replay because uh, I wanted to see what it looked like, you know, because I could, I could see it in the vehicle, but I couldn't. It didn't look blurry to me, but I thought, oh, I better check that and see. It didn't look blurry to me. Yeah, it was a little blurry because it was more, it was focusing more on the, um, what do you call it? It was focusing more on the hood of the truck than it was, you know, the landscape out there. So I got to figure out how to make my phone go up higher. I might. I might make something just to put it up a little higher so you don't even see the hood, but yeah, I got to figure out how to zoom and all that stuff. And if there's a way, hell, there might not even be a way to zoom. <laughs> yeah. And here is Red Mom, our Mama Red's channel. She's building her channel up. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm caught up now. Let's see. Got Mama Red, got Carmen's, Northwoods. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to make cement vases this weekend coming up because I have been trying to find some. I hate those hearts right there because I can't read oh, that wow. last word. That would be uh, nice. For my in-laws. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, it's funny because every time, you know, on those faces and stuff that they have at the headstones, they look like milkshake, milkshake cans. You know, they're the shape of a old fashioned milkshake uh, thing without the top, of course. That's what they remind me of. I called where they made their stones wow. and they want, oh my goodness, $500 for a vase to put flowers in. What a ripoff. Yeah, that's a ripoff. Are you going to make a cast or, you know, Um, not a cast, but yeah, it's called a cast, I think. You want me to set yours in the microwave? No. Hello, Danny. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, get a room. <laughs> we got one. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. You still got a lot more shit to pick up out there. Huh? You still got a lot more stuff of Dorothy's to pick up out there. Next mode. You do? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have any room. I got all my stuff. Hey, and what you, all do I still have out there? Two or there's, three. there's just stuff out there. Probably That's stuff it. you don't want. You I'm, ought to have I'm, Mallory send you some pictures and you can just tell her trash it or whatever. I saw someone make some on YouTube with, uh, oh, gonna, yeah, water bottles. That would be perfect. After my doctor appointment, I'll pick up a load. Okay. Make another load. All right. Thank you. Because I got the dolly in the truck, too. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. There's extra soy here. Okay. Bye, Love Danny. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Love you. Love Billy you. Bob said hello, Danny. Love you too. Billy Bob said hello. Tell him I said hi. Can you watch the race? He said hi. No, I didn't watch it. I, I think I watched the last 10 minutes of it. 9.07. I was asking if Billy Bob watched it. Yeah. Oh, not yet tonight, Mama Bear, but I'm going to soon. I love you. Love you too, dear. Thank you. Lock in the door. Okay. <laughs> He's going to lock you in. Dorothy, Florida Mama Bear wants to know if you're taking your meds. Yeah. 
I just told her not yet. We'll I'm, go take him. I will. Take him. I can see in your face that you hurt. Okay. God dang. She just yeah. don't listen. She's just like my mom. I'm listening. And that's exactly what my mom would say if I said something to her like that. If I said, Mom, you're not listening, she goes, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, you can see it in her face, Florida Mommy Bear. That's the first thing I asked her when she popped on. I said, have you taken your meds? She goes, no. So I knew you'd ask her and, you know, then we could push her to go take him. I don't know why she waits till she hurts bad. But she was doing a lot today. She got, we got, we picked up a bunch of tubs. Well, you went with me when we picked up all those tubs. Yes, I did take my meds, Billy Bob. <laughs> and, um, but Danny had picked up a load of hers out there yesterday. And um, so she's been sorting through all that. And cause we don't even know what's in half of these boxes, you know? So um, I am pushy also Florida mama bear. I'm the same way. I don't like people to be in pain. And I, I got to get on to her sometimes. I got to tell her, take it, just take it now. You hurt, you know, you shouldn't have to hurt that much, but you know, they keep dragging their feet on her appointment and getting this done. And it's like, come on, let's get started. I mean, I got so many appointments written down cause I want to do a, um, I'm going to start a journal on her little journey with this cancer. And, um, so I want to start a little journal for her. And, um, oh, this isn't it. This one down here. That's, a, that's another book I bought for a journal, for a small journal. But I, I did all this, and I'm going to put um, on the front, <laughs> I, I want to put um, Dot's Journey. And then on the back, I'm going to put um, a big uh, pink, pink ribbon breast cancer ribbon and then I want to start putting her dates of her you know the date that she was told and um you know the date that she went for this and went for that and but they keep changing so I haven't really written anything yet <laughs> yeah I got a couple next week and then a couple more the following week one on the 8th and one on the 10th no. One on the 10th and... One on the 9th. One on the 9th and one on the 10th. Yeah, and then one on the 16th. That's when you go for your... Start your chemo, right? And then on the um, 18th, I go to the... They're going to explain everything to me. Oh, okay. Well... Chemo. Yeah, I, I think it'll be cool, Billy Bob. So that's why I, I've got so many notes all over the place of, um, but they kept changing the appointment on her. So, but I've got notes. Um, everywhere. I got notes. Boy, do I got notes. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all over the place, but, uh, I just got to get them all together and write them out. But, like I said, they keep changing the date, so I really haven't started anything. When she goes to her appointment on that date, then I will start writing it down. Cause she, I think on the 9th, you go for the scan or the EKG, the, and then on the 10th, you go for the port. Or is it the other way around? No, on the 9th, I go to my primary here. Oh, so they can tell you what huh so they can tell you what a, a regular appointment okay. primary and then on the 10th they're gonna put the port in and do the ekg ekg that's okay so they're doing both of those on the 10th right and then on the 16th 
is when I have the MRI. Yeah. And then the 18th is when you start. Yes. Okay. All right. I gotcha. Yeah, it's just, I mean, they should have started this. We found out February... February 22nd that she had cancer. Yeah. And here we are in April. April 8th. 7th. 7th. And they still haven't started the chemo. And they told her they were going to get it started, but they want these other tests first. They had, they had her appointments backwards, in other words. And they had me go into a hospital that's far away <laughs> yeah and she <laughs> yeah well, we're talking in an hour drive each way and so we wanted her closer to do her test which they can do it 30 miles away so yeah that's better yeah i think so <laughs> yeah yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna look forward. To. Anyways, that's what I'm um, working on putting together is a, a little a little book for her of her little journey. Yeah. Um. Nice. You know when she has a surgery, when they cut off the right boob, when they cut off the left boob, you know, and so on and so forth. And uh, I'll share my boob with you, Dorothy. <laughs> huh. I said, I'll share my boobs with you. <laughs> I'll just go to Dr. D and tell him I need new ones. Yeah, I need new boobs. <laughs> and Bill goes to see his surgeon in the morning about his stomach. I'm not going with his with him because I am bold with the doctors. They don't like that. I educate them on procedures that may require prior or Yeah, but, you know, it's... Uh, like Dorothy, she'll go to the doctor and they'll tell her all kinds of stuff. She'll go, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Where does it hurt? Right there. Okay. You know, that's <laughs> not me. I I want to know everything, and I push her to. And I'll tell her, you want me to come? You want me to talk to your doctor on the phone? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 I no. can't. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I'm the same way, Florida Mama Bear. I do not like the runaround. I mean, I would just as soon get a second opinion and all of that. And I do, too. Carmen, I ask every question you could think of. I'll Google stuff, and then I'll ask them questions to see if they know the answers. <laughs> uh, that's how bad I am. I, I'm crazy, especially when it comes to health, you know. When it comes to the health situation, I'm, and that's when my, um, she's on comes out. My mother doesn't like it when I go to the doctors with her. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, our mom was the same way. We would go to the doctor with her or something. And, um, she would say, don't tell him that. No, don't tell him that. I'm going to tell him everything. <laughs> I don't want you to go with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my mom was the same way. And then I'd go with her and you wouldn't ask questions though. I did too. Sometimes. Yeah. Because she would tell me not to yeah. ask questions. So I'd say, okay. And then when we'd leave, she'd go, now, what did they say? What yeah. do I have to do? And I'd tell her. She'd say, but you didn't. I know I didn't, but I listened. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, I'm that way too, Florida Mama Bear. I, when it comes to family and health and stuff, I, I'm all over it. I am all over it. When Dorothy was in the hospital having her surgery, man, that doctor was calling me every day. <laughs> yeah, he was. He called me every day to let me know what was going on. 
um, everything. I went with her to her ex doctor and she was not even a doctor. <gasps> she was a nurse practitioner. Oh, we get a lot of the practitioners around here. Yeah, we do too. My primary is yeah. a nurse practitioner. Yeah, we have a, if I want to see the, my doctor, doctor, um, I can go on the days that he's there. But if it's just a simple going to find out, you know, what results were or follow up or anything, I don't mind seeing the nurse practitioner. But if I have a problem or something, I'll tell him I want to see doctor, you know, set me up with doctor and then they'll, they'll make me an appointment when the doctor's there for me to see him. Yeah. So. But these uh, cancer doctors are pretty good. They're the same ones I went to and did the chemo and before. Well, that's Dr. Nanda, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's the only one that does it up here in the high desert. Yeah. That's who Danny had, was Nanda. Yeah. Unfortunately, the nurse Pratt knows a lot more than the doctors these days, yes. Yes, they and do. And they listen a lot better, right? That's true, Florida Mama Bear. Some of them do. Some of them do. Yeah, and it's not uh, Dr. Nanda. It's in his office, but it's a new doctor. Well, yeah, Dr. Nanda's got to be getting up in age. Yeah. He, you know, he did took see him the last time, but this one's doctor is really nice. Yeah, because uh, let's see, we're talking back in '95 when Danny was with went to him. Yeah, that's almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And my mother had a bad cough, and she kept telling me it was allergies. I told her to shut up and listen, and I asked doctor asked for her file, took her took her to my doctor, and she they sent her all kinds of tests. Turns out she had asthma. Yeah, I do too, but yeah, it, it can lead to some coughs. Like she needs that inhaler. My cough has calmed down a lot. I coughed a little bit today when we were in the car or in the jeep, and um, but that was John's fault. No, that was because I was laughing at these guys. They were so fun when we went for that ride. She coughed I, I, and farted. That's why they couldn't get out of the car. I know. That's what she said. Elaine, Elaine farted when she hopped out of the car. <laughs> that was funny. And then someone asked, what is she doing? And he said, her and Ray are planning a holdup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going to rob something? Well, no. Um, when they come running out, it say, he said. I think it was Master Troller that started that. Or John. Yes. One of them. them. <laughs> but that car ride was fun. Oh, yeah. I don't like it when they don't say. See, the doctors I go to, the nurse practitioners here, the nice thing is it, it's a preventative type doctors doctor that I have. So they run tests every year. For everything. Yeah. Heart tests, um, sonograms, ultrasounds. And they do all this stuff in their office. And um, blood work and all of that. And, you know, we get a checkup, me and my husband, every year. If I have, well, like my asthma, they'll check it every six months to make sure my breathing is still at the same area it was when I started getting the asthma real bad but hey Inferno 224 how are you hello Inferno 224 I'm good hon it's good to see you yeah thank you for coming mm -hmm. in let me share your channel City Watch and Landscape Photography. Oh, I love landscape photography. And I have to check this stuff out. <laughs> Carmen. 
Did you did you get the back seat cleaned up for John? It was making a mess <laughs> with Babe Ruth. With Babe Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Yeah, that was so that was so fun. You guys had me laughing. You even had Ray laughing. I was reading everything to him because he was driving. And what's funny is uh it's good to see you too, Inferno. It really is. And that was the first time he drove the Jeep, you know. <laughs> he said, no, your Jeep, you drive it, you know. And But I talked him into driving it. Oh, you're welcome, hon. Anytime. I try to share everybody's link when they come in. Shoot the breeze. Say, hey, I'll share that link. <laughs> but I appreciate you coming in. Yeah, it's uh, it was fun today. I I was reading on my phone because I have the um, the other phone that I had stuck on the magnet. See, I think I'm going to take this magnet off and I'm going to put a magnet this way, up and down. So that way I can raise it up higher. That's what I think I'm going to do on my little magnet holder. You guys will either fall off or, <laughs> or we'll be good. But yeah, they they were cracking me up and Ray up, and so and even um, uh, crafting with Kelly, she was in there just making jokes and everything too. It was fun. I can't wait to do that again. It was a lot of fun. We'll have to take him out to. Um, uh, so I was telling Ray, we'll have to take him out to Wally Wally's World or what's it called? Oh. Uh Wally's world. Eddie's world. Eddie's world. Eddie's world. And then uh, take him to Peggy Sue's for lunch or something, you know? That would be fun. Yeah, that, that would be a lot of fun. So we have to do it on the weekday because I don't like getting in that Vegas traffic at all. But, Yeah. You're not driving, Ray is. No, not all the time. Ray Ray would wet rather I drive. <laughs> yeah, I, we when we went over to David's, hey ma'am, Masha, it is so good to see you. Thank you, Inferno. Thank sure. you for the thumbs up. Yeah. Hello, my mayhem. You have a great night, too, Inferno. And again, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Yes. So how is Masha doing tonight? It's good to see you. We had so much fun. <laughs> Took a ride in the in the Jeep. And it, it was fun. It was it was a lot of fun. It, oh, thank you, Mayhem. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Later, Inferno. Again, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Chilling tonight, almost 11 p.m. Yeah, you. she's in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, she's in Canada. Yeah, we just, um, I just came on because I have a friend in Germany. Um, Siegfried, who uh, is having surgery right about now, so I lit a candle for him for a good surgery and then a uh, uh, quick recovery. Thanks, Inferno. Oh, it was here too. We had a beautiful day. Right now it's 57. And it's um, almost 8 o'clock, 7.48. Hi, Yoda. How are you? Hi, Yoda. Yeah, I'm ready for the eclipse. I don't know if we'll be able to see it here, but I don't know why we wouldn't. And that that's tonight, right? Yeah, pretty soon, I think. I think it's the 8th. Thank it's you. Tomorrow. 
I appreciate it. Oh, is it? I thought it was... Um, I, I think they said the 8th. I probably did. Let me see. Um, I'll be right back, Elaine. All right, hon. Yeah, it does say the 8th. Okay, it's going to be solar when watch the phenomenon. Um, updated three minutes ago. Totally, totally crypt. Ooh, in Texas. Solar eclipse in Texas. Um, Space Force Project. Ooh, that's going to be on live. Here's the tracker. They've already... They're already tracking it, but the path of the total, total, totally for this total solar eclipse runs through Mexico, the United States, and Canada. So we'll see it. We'll be able to see it. Yeah, at three in the afternoon. That's what I was just reading. So it would be around noon here. That's going to be cool. Yeah, those things are exciting. I'm going to stare into the eclipse I did in the 2019. It was... No, you can't stare into it. That's not good, Yoda. I don't think that's good for your eyes. I always use a um, a welding helmet. <clears throat> One year I took some cool pictures through the welding helmet with my camera. Well, hello. How are you, Echo? Good to see you, my dear. I was kidding. Oh, I should, I should have figured that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm blonde. See, I'm blonde. It almost looks brown. It seems like the older I get, the darker it gets. But it's starting to get gray now. <laughs> so how is Miss Echo doing? Are you doing better on your sugar and stuff? I think I got... I think, yeah, our friend is uh, Siegfried. Robin goes into... So, yeah, she goes in about... I She goes in... I think she has to be there at like 5 in the morning, but I don't know what her time difference is. And... Um, so when I put this candle out before I go to bed, because I'm sure he'd have his surgery done by then, um, then in the morning when I get up, which will probably be about six, it'll be nine Eastern, and she's going to have her surgery around 7 a.m. or 7.30. And, um, but I could have, I'll have my husband wake me up at like 4.35 and then I will light the candle back up for Robin. Robin is on East time like me. Okay. All right. So I need to be up at four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I'll need to be up at 4 a.m. so I can light the candle for Robin. So that's what I do. That's what I do. And then pray for a quick recovery. I have... The glasses, I have the glasses, we're holding them out, handing them out free everywhere. Grocery stores, banks, Walmart. Really? They must only do that in Canada. In the States, they don't give you nothing. <laughs> They, every once in a while, they'll have dog treats when you go through the drive throughs <laughs> Legs still swelling and hurt? Did, did, yeah, you did have it checked out. 
do you need to have it checked out again? That don't, it shouldn't be still swelling. Are you keeping it up? Keeping a cold pack on it. Yeah. <laughs> right, Masha? <laughs> That's in Canada because in the States, they don't give you nothing. They want something for it. <laughs> I'm telling you, we get, if you have your, if you have a dog in the back seat and you go through a drive through they'll give the dog a biscuit. <laughs> I get my MRI on April 16th to see how bad the tear is. Okay. Echo. MRI on the 16th. Okay. All right. We'll be praying you get some good news. Hugs and loves and prayers for quick recovery for both Siegfried and Robin. Yes. Yeah. Siegfried should be in surgery right now. Our Tim Hortons stopped a long time ago. Giving Tim's Tim bits to dogs. Aw. Yeah, we have, you know, if you drive through the bank, if you have a dog with you, they'll give them a biscuit and uh, drive through the bank. They put a biscuit in a little can, you know, that they pop out. They <laughs> of course, my dog had its head hanging halfway out the window every time. He knew he was going to get something. <laughs> I'm so tired of this boot after only two. Oh, God. Could you imagine having a cast on for six months? Ugh. Well, hopefully it's not too bad, and maybe some um, therapy might strengthen it back up, but I don't know. Hopefully the tear isn't as bad as something you can... Hey, U-Haul, how are you? Hopefully it's not too bad, Echo. We'll be praying for you, dear. Hi, U-Haul. Yeah, I, um, and then like I said, Robin will go in. I know she said she goes in at 5, but her surgery is <laughs> at 7. That's what she said last night. You're welcome, dear. But yeah, I want, I want to light the candle for Robin. And she'll be fine. So will Siegfried. I'm sure they're both going to be just oh, yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. Be okay. And just pray for speedy recovery. Yeah. But it's going to be hard to hold Robin down. She was already talking about, she's got her comfy chair up there, uh, upstairs in, in her studio. But I think she might be a little sore going upstairs, but it's going to yeah. be hard to hold her back, keep her down. <laughs> she, but she does have a really nice, cute, comfortable chair. I mean, it's really pretty. And she sat in it yesterday and was saying, this is my going to be my relaxing chair. And then she said, I need a footstool. <laughs> she is stubborn. Yeah. She's, she's just strong-willed. That's all. She just, she's just strong-willed. I just adore her. Yeah, she's so cute. And I just love to watch her paint or... You know, anything Whatever she does. Do, it's cute. She's yeah. does neat stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You look at it and think, what are you going to do with that? And I man, know. What she's done, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, she cracks me up. I love to watch her work. I had a full-length brace from ankle to hip. Oh, my God. When I tore me apart could not drive was a bummer went to work with crutches for oh my goodness yeah. yes she is a beautiful painter and my, that one i liked was king kong in the water that was cool that, that was really neat and she just grabs her brush and says okay it's light right there so let's put some light color 
and she knows to do most of the dark colors first, you know. So she, yeah, she does good. She, I love to watch her paint. I just like how she'll put a little paint on her paintbrush and then <laughs> do her thing. And, and then she was showing me the popcorn tin that she works on. You too, Mayhem. Yes, Masha, you have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow on your live if you're up. If Thank you're up. for coming in. <laughs> when you go live, I'll be, I'll see you there. Or when I, well, I'm going to get up early, so I'll be up. Why do you have to get up early? Uh, to light the candle for Robin. I'll have to get up at four. So I can light the candle. Thank you, Masha. Um, because she is back east. Florida Mama Bear said she's same time zone as them. So uh, 7 o'clock her time when she's going to have her surgery is 4 a.m. our time. So I'm going to get up at 4. She doesn't even use special brushes. She just uses any. I know. I yes, love it. Does. Yeah. Yeah. She she just blows me away. And she just, she just yeah. does her thing. And it always turns out good. Like she did on Valentine's Day with that. Oh, with the shaving cream. cream. Yeah. I was that like, was what is she going to do with that? And oh, my goodness. Yeah. That, that was funny. That was really funny. But yeah, she she comes up with some stuff. I think it's her and Neil. I think Neil comes up with some stuff too for her to do. And yeah. And Neil knows she can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Been working with, I, I think they've been working together for a long time. It, so. it seems like it, yeah. Yeah. She is great to watch. She sure is. She sure is. <laughs> I love to watch her. I, I giggle. I, she's just fun. She's she's one of those fun crafters. She always texts okay, for ideas. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> and that's cool that she does that. <laughs> yeah she's uh she's a pistol but yeah I, I love to watch her i even my husband likes watching her he says oh my god that girl's got the prettiest skin or neil <laughs> or neil it takes you for ideas but she can do just about anything you know she yeah. that girl can do anything she <laughs> I try to think, okay, I think I can do this. And then I think, no, I better change it to this. And no, maybe I'll do this. Not her. Yeah, I can do that. And she just starts putting it together. And yeah. before you know it, it looks just like what she's been doing. Mm -hmm. She's good at it. I haven't tried to paint uh, big pictures like that. Actually paint something. But I think I have a couple of those flat canvases. And I might find a picture and paint something just to see, you know, if I could make it look. Yeah. Yeah, you guys do. Yeah, and that's good that you challenge her. You know, it gives her that, um, how do you say it, that I can do it, you know. Yes. But she, she is good. And she just takes it and does it. Yeah. I well, you gave her the painting idea? Well, that's cool. Yeah, Carmen. Incentive. Incentive. Yes, that's the word I was looking for, an incentive. I can draw, but I can't paint for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can draw. Yeah, I can draw, but I can't paint. I mean... I can paint too, but I don't know if I can paint with the blending like what she does. She's incentive initiative, yes. But I the blending and stuff, man, she 
she just gets it all going and I, it just the blending just blows me away especially when you see it when she's so far into it and then you think i don't know robin <laughs> but she it always turns out good <laughs> always <laughs> she's funny i can paint a room but a painting nope <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can do a painting if it's a squiggly numbers. the way paint, I shape paint by number oh you mean the with the with the velvet on it and you just use a pen <laughs> keeps you from going out of line no, Robin but is famous for I don't like it and she I do the queen of antique wax love her oh yeah she is good with that antique wax. She just, she made that one thing that looks so ornate with the, with the wax and stuff. Is that the one you're talking about? And it, it just What does ornate looked, mean? Ornate, you know, like, um, like something like this. See this picture frame? Uh -huh. See how it's real squirrely and real fancy? Oh, yeah. That's ornate. But yeah, she, <laughs> she she can do, she puts it on everything. Yeah. <laughs> she does. <laughs> yeah. And it looks good. I mean, that's just it. Yeah. yeah. At first, you're like, I don't know. But when she's done, it's like, holy crap. That's what keeps you sitting there watching it, you know, because you're thinking, I don't know. And then, you know, she finishes it and it's like, mm, she knew exactly what she was doing. <laughs> but yeah, if she don't like it, she will pull the wax out <laughs> and get it going. But she's, she is good. <laughs> Okay, talk to Florida Mama Bear. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll talk to and Carmen. Carmen. Carmen, Florida you, Mama Bear, U Haul, Billy Bob, all of them. Where are you going? Bathroom. Huh? Shut up. You heard me. I didn't. Where are you going? The bathroom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hold it because Master Troller ain't here to sling shit yet. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> pee pee. Yep. To the bathroom. I was going to ask about that. How do you, is that how you get them straight where they're not all wrinkly? And how do you press them? Do you put something over them or like a towel or something? Press the plastic bags. Yeah, Mama Bear, how do you do it? I mean, I, I was trying to figure out how to get the wrinkles out of mine. Put your um, iron on real low or um, yeah, or cover it. I don't know.
You notice how when she goes to the bathroom, I'm experimenting. Oh, okay. <laughs> she puts me up here so that when she comes back and sits down, we can't tell if she had to change her pants or not. <laughs> I bet that's it. Fabric with plastic bags. And she made a bag with it. Really? Oh my goodness. Wow. How did she do that, Carmen? Um, it's something to try, huh? Did she weave it, probably? Oh, okay, Mama Bear. That'll be cool to see what you come up with. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with mine yet. Oh, okay. I've also seen that done with um, the different colored straws, how they iron them to make them like a really cool different things. <laughs> Bill told you to throw them in the jar. <laughs> Well, I thought about putting everything in the bag and saying, here, my, I'm done. But I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, I feel better. Good. <laughs> oh, you're experimenting. Press plastic bags. Look at all my plastic bags. I got them all tied together now. Now I'm going to figure out how to put them on my sticks. You know, so I can macrame them, macrame a handle on the... I'm going to do the flat macrame so far up, and then I'm going to macrame it where it twists, and then macrame it where it's flat. So the twist part is where you hold. I'm back, you all. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> you melted, but forgot what else she used. I'm going to tie a few bags together. Probably. Tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Elaine, that's a lot of work. Yeah, it's not too bad because I'm going to get, um, I have some uh, brown twine that I'm going to kind of wrap it a little bit all the way down so that when I tie, when I make the, when I do the macrame, it'll be a little tighter with a little bit of yarn wrapped around it. So I'm going to do that too. And then I've got my, my napkin. See my little bee napkin. And I'm going to put that on my jar. And my jar is a milk jar. Another milk jar. I'll paint that. And then I'm going to put the, the bee on this side and on this side. 
and I'm going to make the macrame thing to for the handle on this that I painted the other day. And then the jar will go in it like so. And then I'm going to use wire. I'm going to drill a couple of holes on each side. And then I'm going to bring wire and twist it so that it will hold the macrame. I'm going to staple it first, but then I'm going to put wire around it to help it spray, uh, stay better. And Thank my you. bling. Yeah, and then I got bling. I got all these. These, these are iron-on rhinestones, and I'm going to iron them on the little side panels. Oh, yeah. Little panels on the wood. That'll be cute. I made a short of my DIY. It's on my channel. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, Carmen does some cool crafts. Yeah, she does. Yeah. She got some cute stuff on there. And then in the evening, I just ordered me one of those lights that go around so I can do my crocheting because Ray don't like the light on in the living room when he's watching TV. So um, while I sit in there with him, I can sit there and crochet while he watches his programs or else while he falls asleep. He's asleep right now. So <laughs> my poor hubby. He, he it was nice today. We had our date day. We went to a few places today. We, we took you guys for that ride out there and then we came home and unloaded everything. And then we took a ride over to our nephews and seen his house. I'd never seen this house. It's beautiful. And then, um, oh, and you know what I noticed too, when I watched the, uh, the playback today? Well, after I got out of the truck, I kept talking to y'all. Of course, you couldn't hear me because apparently it was still connected to my pickup. So, since I wasn't in the pickup, you couldn't hear me. So, all that talking I did when I walked around the house and stuff, you guys didn't hear nothing. Lady Channel is called Upcycle Design Lab. Let me write that down. Yeah. Okay. Upcycle Design Lab. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Carmen. Let me see if I can find it and I'll share it. Um, Okay, we got it right here. Um, let me subscribe. <clears throat> okay, here's the link for you guys. There you go. You can just click on the link and... Oh, wow. That's cool, Carmen. She ironed the plastic bags and made a purse? Wow. What is Carmen's link? Oh, I got Carmen's link. Let me get it again. Get this stuff out of my way. My mouse is going in different areas than I want it to because it's up against uh, the keyboard and rolling over papers and everything else. But I'm getting it. <laughs> I thought you meant what the link was for, for the um, upcycle design. But there's Carmen's link, uh, Florida Mama Bear. Yeah. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I'm glad we still have company tonight. This is nice. I thought it was going to be too late. I didn't think we were going to get anybody in here tonight, but like I said, I wanted to get that candle lit. That's why I went light or late. I don't know why this wax is putting my candle out. I need to dump some of this wax. Let me find something to dump it in. That'll be easy to clean out. I could dump it. No, I better not dump it in that. I might use it for something. I think I seen that one, Carmen. I'm pretty sure I did. She put it in a ball like you do um, yarn. That was cool if it's his name one. Oh, that candle smells good. And there's another one that made yarn. Hi, Out Kelly. Plastic bag. You know, I seen one of those. Hello, Kelly. Did you have a nice ride today? <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, we're just chilling. I lit my candle for... Um, Siegfried, I got to get one of them other kind of candles, the tall ones, so that it stays lit because the wax is melting on this and it's... <laughs> and it's well, oh, Bill. <laughs> Ladies, I'm sorry. I had to step out for a little bit, but I'm back and I got my earplugs in, Dot. <laughs> <laughs> They as long as you have your depends on, we're good. P L A R N. And funny. Hmm. P L A R N. I think I've seen who you're talking about. Plarn. Oh, yeah, that's got all different kinds of stuff. Yeah, I've seen some of these, um, these trash, <laughs> trash cans that they made. Yes, our new truck ride so nice. John sticking it up was stinking it up was not good. Uh, yeah, our truck, our our jeep rides good it is a nice jeep and ray ray liked it he liked driving it so john liked it so much he stunk it up <laughs> billy bob says no i got the depends on i got <laughs> the white the waiters <laughs> uh, and poor john i know he's sleeping right now because he's got to work early tomorrow morning so I knew he'd be sleeping. So yeah, it's uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna get up at four in the morning, so I can light the candle for Robin. I got the candle going for Siegfried right now. He's having surgery right now, and uh, tomorrow Robin has her surgery at seven. So I'm gonna get up at four to light the candle. I might go live with my coffee and my old bathrobe and <laughs> look like a hot mess, but hey, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's a, there's so many things that people do with plastic. It's just unbelievable. I was showing Ray these balls, um, those crocheted balls with the plastic. And Ray goes, oh, yeah, Brazi will eat that whole thing up. And she'll swallow it. <laughs> she'll be crap and string. I may go on a little late. Whoops. Discord just popped up. I want to watch the clips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is tomorrow night, right? It's tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, at 3. And I think it's 3 Eastern. So it'll be 12 noon here. Oh. So it'll be 2 where Kelly's at. What time does it come on, Kelly? Maybe it goes earlier because Kelly goes on 11, so if she's going to go a little late. So if she's seeing it at 11, ours might come on at 8. She's two hours ahead of us. At noon. noon. Okay, noon. So then, and that's your time, right? Yeah, okay, so then it would be um, 10 here. 10 here, because Kelly's two hours ahead of us. So it'll be 10 here. Okay. I can handle that. I can, I can. <laughs> I know some of this stuff is just unbelievable that people put together. <laughs> well, I hear my husband in the kitchen getting into something. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> lots and lots and lots of stuff. I know I can't believe I'm on this late. I usually not on this late. It's already it's almost eight thirty. Mm -hmm. It's a one seventeen. So I guess we'll go ahead and shut her down and come on in the morning early not too early well i'm gonna get up at four to light the candle i ain't getting up at four. you don't have to get up probably won't very be very many people in anyway so i mean it's not that i don't want to it's that i can't that's too early i know i know if i have a good night then it should be okay. And um and then we'll go on I, I may do some crafting um after Kelly tomorrow. We'll see. It begins twelve fifty five Eastern here in Florida. Okay, that's about right. So then ten fifty five here. Yeah. No, 9.55. Nine? Yeah, because Florida Mama Bear is three hours ahead of us. And she says it goes on at 12.55 there. So yeah. So it be 9.55 here, so 10 o'clock. Or 5 to 10. Okay. Sounds good. Well, y'all, I think Dorothy needs to go to bed. <laughs> no, I need to eat. <laughs> you haven't eaten yet? Well, you know what? I don't think... Maybe that's what Ray's doing, getting something to eat. I didn't make dinner. 
people are out running around, so. Daddy bought me dinner. Oh. What did he buy you? Um, orange chicken. Ugh. Broccoli and beef. And broccoli and beef. Is, yeah. Well, I am trying to get me a list for when I go grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, does. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to get an idea of what foods I need to be eating. And broccoli is the number one. Yeah, broccoli has a lot of iron. Well, they say that it fights the cancer. Mm. Well, then you better start eating um, it. Yeah, it does. You I'm could, up there. You could steam it. You could eat it raw. Right. Dip it in ranch or whatever, and yeah, you can you can always cut broccoli up and put it in anything you cook. Right, and I like I love broccoli. I do too. I can eat it raw, cooked. <laughs> uh, carrots are good for you too because of the carotene. Yeah, carrots are good for you. And what else? It was there was something else, and it just kind of threw me like, really? <laughs> yeah. That's cancer but i can't remember what it was well you can always google it and see what foods are good for you and right raw <laughs> is better did you see florida mama bear said yeah. raw is better for you oh okay keeps all the nutrition in i bet you because if you cook it or steam it it takes a lot of the vitamins out the, the stuff you need out i would think and i like to like if I want something sweet, mm -hmm. I like to heat up the white rice and put butter, sugar, and milk in it. Mix it all up and eat it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. You don't like rice? I'm allergic to rice. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should go on around three. That way, it is over everywhere. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, Mama Bear broccoli with the ranch. I like that, too. Yeah. You like rice? I do, too. I like it, and I can eat a little bit of it, but it's it's not my favorite. Well, that. The white rice, like I said, you know, you can heat it up and. Well, I make rice bowls for Ray all the time. Right. Not all the time, but that, when I want to make something fast. But like the pork fried rice, I like it once in a while, but they give you so much and you heat it up once and the next time it's like you're eating rocks. Yeah. Well, you can make your own oh. pork fried rice, Dorothy. Oh, I know. I you can throw make broccoli in it. Rice. <laughs> I got like five bags of it. <laughs> yeah, Billy Bob says, I like broccoli. Broccoli don't like me. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, well. There's some foods that do that to me now that I had my gallbladder taken out. It. There's certain foods that I'll eat, and I know right away, maybe I shouldn't have ate that, but I, I'm learning. <laughs> Put a little water in pot and steam the leftover rice. Hey, yes. That's, that's the way to do it, Dorothy, for leftovers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leftover rice. That would be the way to I make didn't it think soft about and it. fresh mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Yeah. I make my own fried rice. Chinese food is too expensive. Oh, man, you are so right about the exp how expensive Chinese food is. That's why Danny bought it. <laughs> That's why Danny bought it. Oh, Lord. I, I did my usual. He goes, are you hungry? And I go, yeah, a little. And he'll go, what would you eat today? Nothing. So he feels sorry for you. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I'm going to go get something. What do you want? I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you want to uh, get. 
Yeah, I, I make my own fried rice. I can make the Spanish rice. I can make, <laughs> you know, all that Chinese food, uh, broccoli beef. But usually I cook a roast and then I can make broccoli beef with the leftover roast. And Wow. Billy Bob said he had his gallbladder out 10 years ago and he's still learning. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm learning what what is good for me and what isn't. And and I can usually tell within minutes after I eat, like, oh, let's see, I don't, you know, I better not eat that much of that or I just better not eat it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm learning and because I just had my gallbladder taken out in January. That's what so, I always say, Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm learning. And yes, Carmen, $52 is a lot for just two people. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is. 20 something bucks up and then 20 bucks for plate two and then 20 something for, yeah. As long as I don't have to cook, sounds good to me, right? <laughs> Word of Mama Bear. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know that saying, uh, um, if you wait long enough to cook, they'll eat a bowl of cereal. Well, we yeah. don't even do that anymore because we don't have milk around here because the milk goes bad, you know, because we, we just don't drink it. And uh, I, I, get I, that, I get that fair life. It's good and it lasts quite a while. What? What's fair life? A milk. Oh, no, it's, we just use regular whole milk, but right. what I'm saying is we don't we don't go through it fast yeah. enough. Um, to I mean, we were even buying the little the little ones, you know, and still we were not, you know, well, I using it because we weren't yeah. drinking it. And I just get one, and it lasts me quite a while. Yeah, but because I don't drink it that fat, you know, that quick. Yeah, well, I, I like the whole milk. Yeah, I have the whole milk. Yeah. Shelf, I like shelf stable milk. Stable milk. What is that? Yeah, I never heard of that. Shelf stable milk. Is that from a dairy or something? Shelf stable milk. Hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Mm -mm. We live in the desert. We don't live around farms, so that's probably why we never heard of it, although we stayed on a ranch all the time with Grandma. Yeah. They sell them at the at Dollar Tree. Really? I'll have to check it out. Yeah, me too. Shelf stable milk. Huh. We probably don't have it at our Dollar Tree, but we'll check. Yeah. Shelf stable milk. I think I gotta write that down too. Yeah, because shoot. Is that instant milk? Kelly asked Carmen. I have instant milk for cooking. Yeah, I don't like instant, not for drinking, but for cooking, yes. Yeah, I have a bag of instant milk in the fridge um, that I mix whenever I cook. Come in a small boxes, and you don't need to put it in the fridge until you open it. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to have to check on that. And it's just like whole milk, huh? Oh, yeah, Mama Bear got some, too. Milk on the shelf. Yes, I got some from Dollar Tree too. I'm going to have to look that up because that would probably save us yes. money because I'm always dumping out over a half a container full of milk because it's. Yeah, and like old. Mama Bear said, it's good for emergencies too. Yeah. Well, so is the powder milk that lasts forever in the powder, you know, in the fridge. I keep it in the fridge. And then, um, but yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to have to go get some of those. They have it. Wow. Whole milk, 2% and 1%. Well, I only like whole milk because they, the lower the percentage, the more the sugar. I don't have diabetes or anything, but 
um, a lot of people don't realize if they drink 2% milk, they're getting a lot more sugar than they would if they drink whole milk. So, yeah, I stick with whole milk. You go to 1% and there's even more sugar in it. So, yeah, I made my sister-in-law start drinking whole milk. Uh because they were getting 2%. And I said, no, that's too much sugar because she was diabetic. And um, I got her sugar down to 160 and then oh, wow. one, 140. It stayed between 140 and 160. I took her off bananas and I took her off Coke mm -hmm. and I took her off 2% um, milk. Yeah, I don't either, Carmen. And that's... I didn't know they made powdered buttermilk. Yeah, that yes. would be good for biscuits, huh? Kelly. Kelly said, my mom tried to trick us as kids, and we were little and gave us powdered milk. Nope, it was nasty. I think I, my, mom my mom did the, did same, the thing. same thing. Yeah. I like buying them because we don't use milk a lot here. Yeah, that's, that's us. I that's Ray really and I, but... You know what? I'm going to look into that. Hmm. Yeah. Because, I, like I said, I use powdered milk to cook, but um, I wouldn't use powdered milk to drink. I got to have ice cold, ice cold, cold milk <laughs> in an ice it's glass. Oreo cookies. <laughs> yeah. Now you sound like dad. I know. He got me doing it. No. Oh. Yeah, I like him in the ice glasses, too. <laughs> he even told me one day, he said, Dorothy, you're eating that wrong. I go, Dad, I'm eating cookies. I'm dipping them in milk. He goes, yeah, but you're doing it wrong. I go, dip them in milk and I eat them. He goes, get me a fork. And I was like, oh, shit, what are you going to do, poke me? No, he breaks it well, up. What he did is he put the fork in between the two hard parts, you know, where the cream is. Mm -hmm. And he used the fork and dipped it. That way you're not. Oh, that way, yeah. Anything in it. Yeah. Powdered milk is not bad. You need to use a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I think so. But I, like I said, I just use powdered milk to cook. I don't use it to drink. I'm right. I don't even think my husband would. He wouldn't drink uh, powdered milk. Yeah, I. Mm -mm. Yeah, and and he likes milk too, but just you know, we just like it once in a while, not very much. Like right now with this congestion I got going on, there is no way I would drink any milk. Yes, Kelly, that's so true. <laughs> Especially when you drink it straight from the cow. Yeah. Yeah. Just blow the cream off and keep on drinking. That way you don't get your fingers wet. Yep. That's uh, apparently what my dad was trying to teach Dorothy. Yeah. <laughs> Dorothy was probably sticking her whole damn hand in the milk. No, just... Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I might have been. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh, Dorothy. I am not a milk drinker. Oh, God, I love milk. But I drink when I'm congested. I can't drink milk. I drink it once in a while. I'm not like a real big, like every night. No, my dad was, but I'm not me. I was forced to drink it by my grandmother when I was little. She used to put a little bit of sugar in it. Oh, okay. In the powdered milk. Yeah. My mom tried doing that and putting it in our cereal, and it, you could almost see through it. It's like, you know, uh-uh, ain't doing this. <laughs> she Billy just, Bob's she just poured water in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pour some water in it, throw a little sugar on it, we'll eat it. <laughs> yeah. You don't need that powdered milk crap. <laughs> oh, God. You know, my dad told her one time, because she, she made a jug of it, of the dry milk. Oh, there you go. Use it in the coffee. I didn't think about that. 
Yeah, and he said, look, Nita Faye, <laughs> you take that jug of milk and you dump it out because I ain't drinking it. Yeah, she and tried I said, to what? take this out. Yeah, I said, what's wrong with it? And he said, it's not real milk. <laughs> uh, oh, Kelly likes milk. Too. Yeah, two, two glasses, glasses a day. Yeah, I, I love milk, but I won't drink it with this congestion. And No, because that would make it the congestion worse. Yeah, then I'd be coughing a lot more. But once it's all gone, then I'll be ready to have a glass. Because I like milk. I always liked a big glass of milk with dinner, with supper, and then, um, you know, milk with cereal if we had cereal in the morning. But Ray goes to Del Taco, and sometimes I have him get me something. Sometimes if he don't go to Del Taco, I make him something. So, but yeah, I have I like my milk with the dinner. Oh, milk doesn't like you. Ugh. Lactose. Have you ever tried almond milk? I have a grandson, Anthony Austin, who had some horrible stomach issues with milk. So his dad put him on almond milk. And uh, yeah, dairy is bad for congestion. I haven't had any cheese or anything, and I miss my cheese. Yes, with dinner every night, I agree. Um, anyways, his, uh, our son-in-law put him on almond milk and why it took, you know, we didn't think about trying that. And then someone said lactose intolerant. <laughs> um, if you drink almond milk, it's better for you. Now my grandson just loves almond milk and that's all they drink over at their house is almond milk now. But I still drink it when I'm home. That way there's two bathrooms right <laughs> yeah try almond milk see if that helps or have you ever tried those lactose pills what are they are they chewables or something for lactose and you take that like if you want ice cream or something you yeah take those right before you eat your ice cream i heard they work i don't like it i prefer whole milk yeah see me too me Bill too. drinks a lot of milk. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so did my dad, Mama Bear. Oh, God, yeah. Milk and chocolate milk. Ugh. In ice glasses, and they had to be ice cold. Yep. I think that's where we get it from. Probably. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly where we get it from. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I think we'll go ahead and close it down. Thank oh. you all for coming in. You just don't know how much I appreciate it. I didn't yeah. know if anybody would be up this late to to come in, but I'm sure glad you did. I appreciate it. Me and too. Um, maybe I'll see you guys all at four in the morning. <laughs> Me. I'll be by myself because Dorothy said, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm Elaine. I'm Dot. And we will see you guys tomorrow. And you uh, are wonderfully. We might, yeah, we might craft something. We'll see. We'll put something together. That's me, too. I love whole milk and chocolate milk. That's my dad. 100%. I do, too, Mama love, Bear. Love Billy you. Bob. Love you too, guys. Yes. Mama Bear, Good Billy night. Bob, Carmen, Kath, Kelly. I was going to say Kathy. Kelly asked, did you watch Shy make the chocolate syrup? No, not yet. I didn't either. I'll have to check it out. You too, Billy Bob. You have a yeah, good night. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. I will be asleep, hopefully. Uh, I hope so, Mama Bear. Yeah, you guys need some good rest. Especially you, Florida Mama Bear. You need to get some rest. Feel better. Yes. Okay. Love you all, guys. I'll watch it, Kelly. That's, that's going to be a good one. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night.